Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase a new project I have started on, which is a small idle mobile game. And this is just going to be a very simple, quick showcase, just to give a basic introduction of the prototype I have so far and my thoughts. And then in the future, I'll probably keep creating some devlogs showcasing development of this game, and hopefully, it's going to be released someday. But for now, I just have a very simple game set up where we can then progress. So it's an idle game, so it's like an automatically progressing game, creating some wood, you have some kind of wood cutting leveling, you have some mastery leveling, you have different type of woods, some are locked based on your level. Now, most functionality is just built around the wood. Whenever you level, you get some points, you can upgrade some skills. You're then also gonna have some stone, similar, you, it slowly progresses, you generate some stone, it will work while you're FK, so there's some FK handling, and so on. And then in the future, it'll be some kind of crafting. Right now, it's just very simple, but it'll be some kind of crafting, probably creating some kind of tools, and thereby slowly having this feeling of progression. And I always thought it was kind of interesting to have this, this concept of building an entire world around this idle structure. So this is like my idea or my project. So far, you can see it's really simple. Been trying to create some basic UI, some basic art. Definitely not an artist, but I enjoy making the, all these like custom buttons, custom icons, and so on. And just to give a quick explanation of what I want to do, I simply want to have a setup where you can, first of all, you create some wood, generate some wood, you cut some wood, you get some general wooding level, you then get a mastery level, which means the mastery is the level based on the current wood, so each wood type is going to have its own level and a general wood cutting all. If we wait a bit, it's going to hit a level up, we get some points, I can showcase that we can use these buttons to level up either our speed or log our precision. And we will then also showcase that it actually somewhat works, some of the base functionality that for now, if we hit level 10, it's going to take a while. It's trying to build a slowly progressing game. And we can then see that if we hit level 10, this lock would be removed and we can actually see green wood, or level 25, firewood. And if we just give it a few seconds, we're going to slowly increment the XP, so we'll 13, and of course, I in general like the concept of mathematics and building functions, mathematical functions, so of course the XP and everything is built around a curve. And there we go, so we just hit level 2, we're cutting level 2, we now have 5 points, we can then spend these points on either improving speed, chance of double lock, double wood, double output, or high precision which is going to be increasing the xp gain and it's going to be quite slow so i don't actually know if we can see the difference but a little bit but again slowly incrementing and if we just hack a bit more or less and if we go into the level setup let's change to level 10 for example and i'm just going to reload and for now i have turned off saving so it's not going to create a completely new instance so now we have a wood cutting level 10 we can see we need quite a lot more XP, and because I cheated, I didn't get any points, I only get points when I level up, but we can now see we actually have this green wood set up. So we have multiple woods, and it's going to be progressing slower. And for now, this is not very intuitive, but I've created a setup where we have these like buttons, where you can see it's active on wood, which means that if I close the game and open the game again, I would get AFK gains from the active wood type. So I can swap now. Green wood's going to be active, wood's going to be inactive, and I could thereby, I would like to have some kind of setup where at first you're going to have one active wood cutting area, later on you could have more, which is already implemented, but now I can just cap it to one, for example, and it's then automatically going to swap, so when I activate wood, it's automatically going to unactivate green wood, and therefore you can't unactivate wood, so you can't have nothing activated. I think that's a good idea, otherwise it, people might get confused if you end up on activating everything, close the game, reopen the game, and nothing is like nothing have progressed while you are offline. But that is very much the current state. And if you just show firewood, I think that sprite turned eye out all right. So wood on fire, firewood. Thought it'd be kind of funny, but I don't see the XP actually is quite a lot higher now when we end up at level twenty-five. But of course, you then also probably have some kind of 
tools, which will also improve all these stats, and you'll have quite a few skill points. But I thought it would be interesting to showcase this very early prototype of my idle game. And if you have any ideas or any feedback, please put it in the comment section. Otherwise, if you sure enjoyed this quick demonstration of showcase of my idea of an idle game, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.